G'day everybody, this is Little Pilar here. Now, I'm going to do a neat little video here. The 10 worst cars ever produced. Well, unfortunately, I can't get access to all the cars, but I can judge on the cars I do know. Yes, I know what you're thinking. The Yugo's on the list. Well, we don't have the Yugo in Australia. I've never seen one outside of movies on TV, so I can't put it in the list. But, we'll work, work on the list. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be tagging six people who will also need to compile a list of ten worst cars. But at this stage, we'll get onto the first car on the list, which is number ten, and here it is. Here we go with number ten, the Ford Convertible. Nifty little Capri, spot on looking car. Every time it rains, it turns into a swimming pool. Let's jump in the car and go for a swim. Better luck on working out how to seal the roof on a convertible next time, boys. Good old Ford 850 Sports. Great little car. They go like a dream when they go. They buzz around like anything. They handle well. But I used to have one. Had a minor problem. Snapped a fan belt. Up to a month to get the part from Fiat. You've got to be kidding. The car wasn't that old and the fan belt wasn't available at a dealership. Man, that is major shit problems. 1960 Chev Corvair. The car doesn't look too bad. They did have a problem. Chev couldn't get the balance right for a rear wheel drive and it speed on dirt they had a habit of rolling over. But that's not the worst of it. The worst of it was the Chevrolet Corvair Futura. It's a station wagon. Which ends the front? Which ends the back? God knows. It's only two doors. So what is it? Station wagon sports car with no rear, no front? The front looks like the back except for the headlights. What were they thinking? Better yet, this was 1960, what were they smoking? Now we fall into the micro cars. The BMW Isetta, or Isetta, depends how you want to say it. Ah, it's a nifty looking car. Whiz around anywhere, park anywhere, cheap on fuel. Better vision out the back of the car than the front. But what were they thinking? If you tail in somebody, how do you get out of the car? You're kind of stuck. You can't wind down windows. Eh, yeah, were they thinking? Don't think so. Or was it Germany's revenge for losing World War II? Think about it. The good old Renault 10. A lot of people like them, a lot of people dislike them. But I've made one interesting discovery. And that is... They got that fed up with the cars being shit boxes. They decided, no more apologising. Because I fed up with apologising for a bad, bad car. Then we come to the pride of the English. One of the proudest moments. They bought out the Morris 1100, the baby land crab. They'd panic if they saw a hill. If you waved a wet rag in front of them, water would get in the distributor and they'd stall. All around, they were probably one of the most unreliable cars ever made. Lancia Beta, probably the greenest car that's ever been made, most environmentally friendly car ever made. They went okay, but what made them so green was they self-destruct, they revert from steel back to iron ore via the process of rust within six months of buying it. They were guaranteed rust out on site. I chose the appropriate one here, a nice rust brown. The Reliant Robin. Yes, one of the weirdest looking cars on the road. Don't know much about them, but they, I think they're a favourite for picking on. As Rowan Atkins showed in the Mr. Bean series. Constantly sitting up on the nose corner. They're a weird looking car. They're a funny looking car. And anyone who buys one's got to have a screw loose. I've been told that some people are actually stupid enough to race them. 
It's a case of, oh my god. But, for intents and purposes, I would not like to be one of those if it's in an accident. They do not look very safe at all. No real strength in the plastic body. It was a hard decision deciding which was the worst car ever made. But, guess what? That's not the Lada 1500. Even though it's an ugly little piece of work, it looks like some Russian kid was sitting there with Lego blocks and just stuck two blocks together. They're ugly, they are unreliable as everyone who knows larders, they're guaranteed to break down. That could have been resolved if they didn't put Fiat motors in them. But they are an ugly little thing. If there's a part in there that doesn't fall off, someone super glued it on. Guaranteed to break down, guaranteed to fall apart. And I would not like to be an accident in one of those. Now for what's probably the worst car the world has ever, ever seen. The Morris Marina. They're only good for one thing, and that's dropping pianos on. They have a weird front end, which collapses if they hit a gutter. They come out in baby poo brown. Perfect colour for them. Those cars are hideous. The automatic transmissions blow up easily. Even though they had a six cylinder in them, they were underpowered. No room. They handled crap. And anyone who bought them was just an outright moron. So remember, the Morris Marina, in my opinion, is the worst car ever made in the world. Okay, now you've seen the list, you may not agree, you may agree. Well, that's up to you. The people I'm tagging, and I'll explain to you what I need each person to do. Bean Meister, 22. You're in America. So I'd like you to get the 10 worst cars which can be purchased in America. Then we've got uh, Tommy down in Louisiana, that's TC71291. Now, Tommy, I've got a special request for you. I would like you to list the 10 worst pickups or vans available in the USA. Okay, now we're going out of the USA, we're heading over to the United Kingdom. We've got Garden Spoon, who's in England. I would like him to list down the 10 worst cars available in England, Northern Ireland, right through into Europe. We also have UKP42 up in Scotland. Yes, Scotland, where the mighty Scots come from. And they did try to deport Gordon Brown to England, but the England sent him back. Oh, well. Now, I would like you to also do the 10 worst cars in Northern Ireland, United Kingdom, right through to Europe. Okay, now we're coming down to Australia. I have Big Mouth Aussie and 01 Dave the Couch Guy. I'd like you two to work out the 10 worst cars in the South Pacific, which includes New Zealand, Australia, up around the islands. Pretty much the same cars as we have here in Australia. Now, if you six people can actually do your videos, then post them as video replies to this one, so we can have a broader picture of the 10 worst cars in the world, then tag some more people and get them to post the video replies to this as well. At the end of the year, I'll sit down, go through the videos which have been replied to this one and work out from popular belief which are the 10 worst cars in the world. So, I'll go through the names again. There's Bean Monster 22 from America. There's TC71291. 
one from America. Garden Spoon from England. UKP42 from Scotland. Big Mouth Aussie. And 01 Dave the Couch Guy from Australia. So, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of my choice of the 10 worst cars. Bye for now.